something I love about Warren is that he's always willing to drop everything he's got going on to help out. I love um, that Dad is the most generous and caring guy I know. Um, Dad, growing up, literally worked every day of his life to give us everything we ever wanted or needed. And um, he still continues to stay. He'll do everything for us over himself. Um, and he's just always been overly generous and, and loving. And, and we're just lucky enough that we're his family and we get to enjoy all that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dad's sense of humor. He is one of the funniest, weirdest people I know, and it is my favorite thing about him. What I love most about Warren is how selfless he is. Um, he's truly an amazing person. He'll give up anything to help one of us kids. Um, and starting our marriage, I can't name all the things that he helped us with. He just constantly helped us, taught us stuff bought us stuff. He's just truly the most selfless person I know and I also um, appreciate how he stepped in as a father figure in my life when I didn't have one. He is a great father and a good friend. Nice to hang out with. Well, Daddy's the love of my life. He's my split apart, my soulmate, my best friend, and my knight in shining armor. We have everything about Daddy. I work hard. Dad has taught me a lot. Um, the most important thing I think he taught all of us kids is how to be silly and enjoy life and um, you know laugh at ourselves and I think we all have a pretty darn good sense of humor because of him and you know um, it definitely helps us as we grow up into adults and, and parents and we get to share that with our kids and just always have a, a good time and be silly like he was. <laughs> well, when we were first, he's taught me many things, but when we were first married, 19 years old, you think you know, young couple still newlyweds, you'd go to bed, you know, things might be a little romantic. No, for a week straight, every night we lay in bed and he'd teach me how to use borrow and loan property in a sentence because it irritated the heck out of it because I'd say, would you borrow me money? <laughs> Dad has obviously taught me a lot, but one of the most important things that he taught me is what a good man is. And so when I was out looking for my future husband, I knew what to look for. And I married a very kind-hearted person because I learned from my dad what to look for. Um, something he has taught me is, well the list goes on and on and on and on and on, but he's taught me how to change oil on a car, he's taught me how to mow a lawn. He's taught me how to actually use tools and build things, how to paint. Um, just like on and on and on. But the most importantly, he's taught me how to be a husband um, and a person to take care of their family. He's taught me how to be a handyman. Uh, he taught me how to change a tire, change my oil, uh, use a saw, lay flooring. Do plumbing, um, gardening. Uh, one of my favorite memories with Dad, and it's kind of silly, is um, when we used to drive to Aunt Kimmy's house to go to, to elementary school. Uh, we'd leave at like, I don't even know, three or four in the morning, and it was just me, Jenny, and my dad in the pickup truck, the little red pickup truck, and we were squished in there. and. We would just be super tired and silly as can be and making up stories and names and I just remember having so much fun listening to music and then you know like almost every Friday we'd stop and get donuts and the donut guy was always off his rocker and it was just fun and I just remember those silly delirious hours with dad and Jenny and, and I, I think those are my fondest memories. When I was little, back in Fontana, I got to eat cookies and milk with him as a little kid. And stay up late after bedtime? Yes. My favorite, one of my favorite memories with Warren is going to the drive-in 
in the waiting in line and using the fart machine when we got up to the ticket counter and giggling and laughing while we embarrass ourselves. Uh, I'll have lifetime of memories, but if I had to just pick out one of the many, when we first got married, the next day we were going through Redlands Federal Bank drive through to cash a check from Poppy, and he looked over at me in the front, and he said, you're Mrs. Warren Woodall. One of my favorite memories with Dad is always going to the swap meet together, and he would teach us how to have straight faces when we really liked something, because if we didn't, they would raise the price because they saw our excitement. And I also enjoyed selling stuff at the swap meet with Dad. We'd go really early and he told us if we sold our own stuff, we could use the money to buy whatever we wanted. And one of the times I bought Dye Dye, my stuffed animal that I still have. One of my favorite memories or best memories of Warren is when he took us to the drag races. I had never been and you could just see his face light up. He was so proud to show us everything and it was uh, such a good time. I'll never forget it. I hope Dad finally has time to focus on himself and enjoy life because he spent his whole life working hard for his family and others and I hope he gets special time with his grandkids and just relaxes. I get to have a ride with him, I get to hang out with him and help out mom's nervousness about taking the bus. Taking the bus. <laughs> <laughs> My hopes for Dad's retirement is that he learns to sleep in, um, that he gets to spend all the time he wants doing all those chores he's been putting off, and I know that would make him happy. Um, I hope he gets to travel, um, go on, I don't know, maybe a cruise again, um, spend time with us, you know, without the commute, he'll have a lot more time, spend time with the grandkids, um, and just make a whole bunch of new memories, and hopefully, um, just get some time to just do whatever he wants to do because he spent his whole life doing everything for us. So that's what I hope. I hope that Warren watches as much basketball and football as his heart can handle. <laughs> My hopes for Warren's retirement is that he will finally just take some time to relax. He works so hard and he finally deserves some time just to himself. That he gets him time. He's taking care of me and the kids our whole life. Um, he's gone 13 and a half hours a day on, when he was working six 10 hour days. Um, 11 and a half hours is a good day on a regular day. So I'm hoping that he gets to just take care of him and get to be closer to the family. Wave bye bye! Wave bye bye! Wow, bye! Wow, bye bye!